The console's car. Okay, we're gonna keep this short. I'm already late for the DA. First up, Phelps, Bukowski. We got a report of a brand new Packard abandoned in an empty lot off 2nd Street between Olive and Grand. DR is one Oswald Jacobs says the vehicle was dumped in his backyard. There's a patrolman on site. Get down there and see what you can turn up. Any questions? Good. Get going. I didn't have questions, actually. Never mind. Better go earn our pathetic wages. Jacob Backyard, 2 p.m. Phelps, traffic. I'm Officer Houlihan. Cars down the alleyway, detectives. Mm hmm. We got a call about an abandoned vehicle? Yes, sir. The car has flags. Might be some kind of diplomatic vehicle. Has anyone mm -hmm. touched this vehicle since you arrived? No. And that Jacob's bird over there was on station before I got here. We'll talk with him in a moment. Give us some time to look the place over. Sure, take your time. He's a sore-headed old son of a bitch anyway. Yep, definitely looks like a diplomat's car. And, uh... What the fuck is that? Hey. What do we have here? Hmm. I know. Combination wrench. Up to your jewelry box. The wheel lugs. Anyway, aha. Uh -huh. So the wheels were moved. Hmm. Stealing the wheels. Well, is one. The car hmm. ring would have stripped it in a warehouse. The license plate has been taken off. Hmm. We'll have to use the registration to trace the owner. Broken window? I must have taken the flag as a souvenir. Ah, I have it. Argentina. Anyway, let's... Okay, there's the registration. The Argentinian embassy. Aha, that makes sense. Now, what the... Oswald Jacobs? That's right. What exactly happened here, Mr. Jacobs? Last night, I was looking out of my window. I like to keep an eye on what's going on. I can understand that. Mm -hmm. You see this empty lot? Damn kids play stickball here. Always breaking my <laughs> windows. Always asking for their ball back. Can we get back to the car, Mr. Jacobs? Old Don't man. be impatient, Sonny. <laughs> anyway, last night, I see this brand spanking new Packard up on bricks. He seemed cheery at first. Yeah, well, I mean, he did at first kind of give a grumpy old man vibe, then he seemed all cheery, but then he went back to being grumpy. Not really that old, anyway. Anyway. Did you see who stole the package? Hell yes, I did. I saw three goddamn Mexicans going to work on it. Mm hmm. Can you tell us what they were doing? using the headlights of an old Ford so they could strip the thing. I yelled out to them, I'll call the cops. So they loaded up their car and drove off, tooting and hollering and yelling obscenities at me in Mexican. You speak Spanish, <laughs> sir? <laughs> no, I do not. No such language as Mexican. Anyway, what can you tell me about these Mexicans? Hmm, but I don't think they were Mexican. They it's like an, uh, an Argentine bastard car, so... Hey, I paid my taxes. Okay, 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 okay. So all right, all right. Goddamn work. all right, all right, all right. I was just... Need to sneeze and... After get comfy. the uh, Mexicans left, you didn't go anywhere near the car? After I scared them off? No, I didn't go anywhere near that car. Hmm... You went out to the car. Once they were gone, you had to take a look for yourself. I was curious. Ain't a law against that. So what if I took a look around that car? You can't be accusing me of nothing. Okay, so... Anyway, do you have any possible suspects? Tell me about the car they were driving. It was Sent him to jail. <laughs> I didn't catch the license number. You look like the kind of guy who notices details. You're right there. The car was old, but it looked brand new. Candy mm. apple red paint job stands out a mile. Okay, that's interesting to know. Anyway. 
Well, if you, what did you see of the car being stripped for parts? Missing a wheel. What exactly did you see them take? They was working on the tires. That's all that was took. <laughs> Thanks for <laughs> ding. Hmm. Hmm. I'll have to look at my notebooks. Um. That's not all that was missing. Why did you take the license plate? Me? Well, what I do with license plates? <laughs> you saying I have them? Looks like I was mistaken. Ah, so you can cancel out of it. Okay, that's good to know. Um. Anyway. <laughs> Sentences admiration from chat. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> anyway, yeah, that was the tricky pie. <laughs> Whenever I call him out on a lie, it, I wasn't sure what he was going to call them out. Call, call them out on a lie on. Los Angeles anyway. finest. Huh? Okay, okay. God um, help us all. Did you see them take anything else? Nope, I don't think so. What? Thank you for your help, Mr. Jacobs. You can speak to Officer Thibault about signing a formal statement. But when what? you get the car out of the way, maybe you could come back and do something about those kids. Well, how about we bring you an umpire's mask? Jacobs dumped the book he was reading in a hurry when we walked up. I'm curious what he didn't want us to see. You mean, uh, I was right to call him up, but, uh, the lie system is very confusing. Fighting for some gender. Hmm. Okay, so we have the owner of the vehicle, a degenerate. I'll run John Madsen by R and I. And contact details on a William Dewey. This looks like business rather than pleasure. I think we've run this place dry. Let's find a game well. Huh? What do you? What do you mean? What's a game well? Thing. For the age of mobile phones. Cole Phelps, batch 1247. Oh. How could I help, Detective? Mm hmm, whatever. Could you run the name Dewey Brothers? Possibly a dealership or car mechanics workshop. One moment. Dewey Brothers Packard Dealership, 629 Figueroa Street. Got it. Can you put me through to Michigan 2458, please? LAPD, ma'am. Can I speak to John Madsen, please? He's at school, officer. Uh, what's this about? Is he in trouble? Mm hmm? How old is your boy, ma'am? Just turned 16. Okay, interesting. Wrong person, Mrs. Madsen. Sorry to disturb you. Mm hmm? Messages, please. There's just one message for you, detective. A four door Packard diplomatic license number, Paul Robert. 706 was reported missing this morning by one. I didn't know Francisco it's true because Frog writes a He's already here at Central Detective. He's demanding an audience, as he calls it. Okay. Well, I won't keep him waiting. Can you get a message to Captain oh. Leary? Tell him we'll be in as soon as we can. Okay. Thanks for your help. I'll go to the police station. We can visit the Packard dealership or head back to Central and interview this Valdez character. Your call. I don't think you should keep wait waiting. Anyway. This has got to be the 50th abandoned vehicle call we have caught this year. Ah! More and I'm going to go crazy. Ah! 
Woo! Not your favorite cases. You who kidding put me? That barely even police work. With all the bad guys in this city, we get lumped with the ones who can't even be bothered to keep what they steal. Rufus, you'll poop him. Do we have a Juan Francisco Valdez in for questioning? Sure do, Phelps. Your bird's an in interview, too. And get this, he's wearing gloves and doing his best not to touch anything. Can you beat that? <laughs> Sounds like we don't want to keep this guy waiting. It's this way. About time. Are you the senior officer I requested? Ooh, I'm Detective cute. Phelps, and this is Detective Bukowski. Have you any idea how long I've been waiting to speak with you? Okay, okay, I I'm here now. At the consulate, and you keep me here like a common criminal. All oh, right, that's all right. Friend, let's take a deep breath and start all over again. Mr. Valdez, Council General. Mm. I insist on my full title. Mm hmm. Anyway. Watching Council. Where did you purchase the car? My secretary and driver arranged the purchase. A disreputable place, a Dewey Brothers by name. Mm -hmm. As soon as I can have it arranged, I will have my Hispano Suiza brought up from Buenos Aires. Okay, checks out. Dewey Brothers. You think someone from the garage could have been involved in the theft? It would not surprise me in the least. Hmm. What? Okay, I'm clean, not as good as I thought. Consul General, we have located your car. Can you tell us how it was stolen? It must have been stolen from the consul garage. Terribly inconvenient, of course. I want the perpetrator soundly flogged. Unfortunately, we don't do that here, Your Worship. Anyway. Oh, so that's what removing ads means. Um. Anyway, this. You didn't use the car last night. For dinner, yes, but it was back in the garage by nine. <laughs> talking to the gangster squad about you, Valdez. They're gonna love Hi. your diary. He didn't seem to be trying. Hmm. Finished with Valdez. Thank God. I'll get rid of him in a couple of hours. Mr. Valdez moves in some peculiar circles for an international bon vivant. Ah, English, please. See, this is why nobody invites you out for drinks. It's just very <laughs> industrious of him to be so involved in matters of consular transportation. All right, you're making it worse now. I think what you're trying to say is that lover boy in there is as full of crap as a Christmas goose. That is well. Yippee! I'm with the police! Let me throw. Okay. Don't tell me, oh. let me guess. You were making your way past the lot, caught sight of the new model four door, and couldn't help yourself. You could see yourself in that car and just had to take a closer look. Well, I can't say as I blame you. <laughs> LAPD, <laughs> Mac. We'd like to speak with the owner. That's me, William Dewey, proprietor at your service. We're investigating the theft of a Packard belonging to the Argentine Embassy. Are you missing a combination wrench? I don't know, Detective. But I know how we can find out. Follow me. This guy has mobster written all over him. Was that just how all rich people looked in the 1940s? We keep all our tools in here. Mind if we look around? Be my guest. You sure you guys aren't interested in a new car? Huh? Maybe a used car. I have some nice used cars for guys in your wage bracket. Why don't you give us some alone time, Dewey? Go sell some cars or whatever. Hmm. That's not right. What about... One minute. Then is it... Ah! Oh! Can 
actually seems like I'm missing one. One left. Okay, so you're missing a Gabriel Delgado three quarters. Gabriel Delgado is missing a three quarter. If you don't mind, we have a few questions. Okay. So Packers are great well, cars, these. but this doesn't look like the kind of place favored by foreign embassies. Mm -hmm. How do you know about this? I don't know Valdez. The embassy bought the car. All I know is he must know a quality car when he sees one. Hmm. And I know a shyster when I see one. You and Valdez are in this together. Me and Valdez? I hardly know him. Valdez wouldn't wipe his shoes with me. We found mm. your contact details. <laughs> <detail, laughs> yes, got no that one right. He had to be calling you for something, Dewey. Okay. So I met Valdez in a bar. We cut a deal and he bought the car through the embassy. I cut him some change on the side. It happens all the time. Mm -hmm. Where can we find Delgado? I don't know. He sure as hell isn't here. Hmm. I'll ask him about that later. Anyway, what else? Ask him about the wrench. A wrench from this dealership was used to strip the wheels from a Packard last night, Mr. Dewey. A couple of Hispanics were seen taking parts. We've had a spate of thefts ourselves. Comes with the location. Even bastards to steal anything the minute your back is turned. Hmm. Well, what will I say if I try and call out a lie? Stop lying to me, Dewey. The thieves work for you. You can't prove that. Go ahead and try. Like I said, my tools get stolen on a regular basis. You don't want to believe me? I'm not going to say anymore. Oh. Where can we find Delgado? I don't know. He sure as hell isn't here. Huh. You look more suspicious. More suspicious? Hmm. You're lying. You've got him holed up somewhere. I'm having nothing to do with that kid. You can't prove any different. Hmm. Looks like I hmm. made a mistake. Hmm. Okay, aha. Uh -huh. Hmm. Address, Dewey. Or my partner shoves her head in a car door. Okay, all right. Apartment 3, 103 Hill Street. And tell him from me, if he ever shows his face around here again, I'm going to kick his butt from here to kingdom come. Okay, Thank you for your help, that Mr. Dewey. wasn't too bad. No problem. God damn that kid. I'm just an honest car salesman. Seems like you just don't know who you can trust these days. Go into movies, Dewey. You're missing your calling. You read the story in the Examiner about the Navy developing three-dimensional movies? What's a dimension? You know, like a graph. Vertical axis is Y and horizontal is X. Well, that's clear as mud. Third dimension would be Z. So, things would be popping out of the screen. That's ridiculous. You scare people out of the theater. God's name would want that. I don't know. People scoffed at the idea of talking to color. And look what we have now. <laughs> 3D movies? That will never catch on. Okay, let's see what Gabriel has to say for himself. I just hope our Archangel hasn't already flown. Uh, that's not a very secure looking door. I thought it broke, but I could see a bit of a... ...stain on the glass. Hey, keep it down, would you? My little girl just got to sleep. 
Oops, uh, wrong one. <laughs> yes. LAPD, ma'am. We're looking for Gabriel Delgado. Gabriel? We're from the police. Policia, you understand? Yes, I understand. Could you come inside? What is your name? Ana Rodriguez. Is Gabriel Delgado <laughs> here, Ms. Rodriguez? No. What do you want with Gabriel? Is he in trouble? Stay where you are, Miss Rodriguez. We need to take a look around. But he is not here. I have told you. Check out the surrounds. I'll stay with the broad. Okay. Interesting. This. Souvenirs are a dumb move. Aha! Photo. Difficult to tell whether it's the suspect vehicle from the scene. Huh. Certainly Gabriel's pride and joy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the fact that it's in black and white is what makes it difficult to tell. The main thing that was described about the car was its color, and uh, can't see that. Serving breakfast for two, Anna? You should have cleared up. So You're in serious trouble, Miss Rodriguez. But Gabriel is not here. I have done nothing wrong. When... Tell us the truth, Anna. Has Gabriel been here? I haven't seen him for at least three nights. You keep lying to me, and I'll send you and your baby to jail. He lives here, but he hasn't come home. I swear it. Oh, yeah? Enough, Anna. There are signs all over this place that he's been back. He was here last night. Mm -hmm. I have never seen him so angry. Oh. He went out to his shed and put some things in it. I don't know what and I don't want to know. I love him. That was pretty easy. Anyway. Why did he steal the car, Anna? The customer insulted him. He has his honor, no? If I try and come out on lie, what will he... Oh, out on lie, what will he say? He steals cars to support you and care for the baby? How can you say that? What makes you say that? I have my own job. I work at Union Station. If I have to, I will bring up our baby. That is all I have to say to you. Okay, I will. Maybe That's check a... out back too. This punk has something stashed somewhere. I know it. Ah, okay. I mean, that's a pretty dead giveaway, but but when do I present it? Aha! Now what's this? Diplomatic license plate. <laughs> ah. Looks like Valdez gets his wheel back. We found a license plate matching our stolen vehicle in the shed. Add in the assortment of parts, and we can make Gabriel for a dozen other thefts. It's time to get serious, Anna. You must ask these questions of Gabriel. I know nothing of these car parts. Okay, now do I present the Argentinian flag? You're lying, Anna. I think you're a willing accomplice in these robberies. 
What proof do you have that I stole the cars? You come into my ah. house to no. insult and bully me? I have known many policia like you. Gabriel wasn't at work. Where can we find him? He said he would never go back. Gabriel is out driving around in his car. Hmm. If you tell us where he is, I will try and bring him in. If we have to track him down ourselves, it could end very badly for him, Miss Rodriguez. He is out with his chivatos, Julian and Enrique. They race on the corner of First and Santa Fe. Okay. I have pleaded with Gabriel to stop, but he would not listen. As soon as we corner Gabriel, we'll be back for you, right. Anna. You had your chance to cooperate. Police in the vicinity, citizen reports at 415 at the corner of Banning and Santa Fe. Suspect vehicles engaged in illegal street racing. It is to have a identified. Oh. Oh, so I'm, I'm going to be racing you too, huh? Aha! Huh. Car chase! Quick! They're getting away! Phelps, 1247. Requesting assistance at first at Santa Fe. Reports oh! of illegal street hey! race. Hey! Stay on Whoa! The hey! Out of the way. His wheel arches. Come on. Ah. Oh, hey! Oh, I thought that was from my car. Never mind. Ah. Oh, sorry. Delgado was our boy. Forget the others. Yeah, yeah. Trying to go after him, but get away. Ah. Gonna lose him. Okay, okay, I'm on his tail. I've got Your you. James Phelps, take this guy out. Step on it, Phelps. Take him out. Pull over! Lay into his wheel arches. Come on. You now. Better call the coroner, Phelps, oh. and the cat. Oh. We're gonna be in the doghouse for smoking this punk. I, I, I touched him. I just bumped into him. I didn't shoot him at all. In all the time you spent in the army, in basic training, in officer school, at the police academy. At no point during that time did anyone teach you how to control a fucking automobile. You destroyed God knows how many vehicles. You terrorized citizens throughout <laughs> East Downtown, and we haven't got a goddamn thing to show for it. You were on street duties until such time as I see fit to assign you another case. Now get the hell out of my sight. Did I fail? Or was that just scripted? Come on! Seventy dollars in vehicle damage and forty dollars on city damage, but anyway, I barely grazed the guy. Marriage made in heaven. Whoa! A hidden run. That's more interesting than a than a band right, gentlemen, car. I just got this handed to me. A hit and run felony at Ray's Cafe, 208 North Los Angeles. Got a patrolman on site. The coroner's on his way. Get down there. See if you can find any witnesses who can put a make on the car. Should we come through? Like I'm the with DA the police. Press charges. Anna Rodriguez might do time. I'll speak to the DA. She's suffering enough. 
I don't know, Cole. She's an easy make, and the DA likes conviction. I'll convince him to let her go. <laughs> How do you do that? I'll give him something better. Hey, he's happy. 428 here. Cole Phelps, traffic. What have we got? Because a white male named Lester Patterson walked out of the bar and into the street, car hit over there, and he ended up here, dead on impact by the look of it. Have you canvassed mm. the area? The only one with anything useful to contribute is the young lady over there. She lives above the bar, named is Shannon Perry. No, it's not a stage name. 24 years old, she left Kansas to follow the yellow brick road. Is that so? <laughs> we'll take a formal statement later. Right now, we're going to take a look around. Phelps? Hey. You should take a look at the body. The poor guy didn't stand a chance. Hey. Landed mm. on his face and ended up here. The car must have struck him from behind. Anything in his pockets? Huh. Uh, nah. We can okay. notify next of kin. So I can't actually take it. Oh. Anything else on him? Aha! You must pass in his great pleasure if we acknowledge your seat for the application of... Mm-hmm. Madison has life insurance. Very interesting evidence. What have you got on the victim? From all reports, he was intoxicated at the time of the accident. I'll know how intoxicated once I've done the autopsy. Looking him over now, I'd say he died on impact. Mm -hmm. What about the chest wound? Isn't that inconsistent? Very common in auto injuries. Look for a car with a prominent hood ornament. Those things are killers. Uh huh. Anyway. Hey. Look right across. The body traveled a good 20 feet. This blood is a long way from the body. Hmm. The must have been going like a bat out of hell. And time off. So the driver managed to break before the impact. Hmm. Definitely delivered. Miss Perry? Yes? I'm Detective Phelps. This is my partner, Detective Bukowski. So. Can you tell us what happened? Well, I came to the window because I heard people arguing downstairs. Mm hmm Interesting. Then what happened? I saw a car hit that poor man and knock him down the street. It's argument. Drive for me. Tell me more about the argument you heard. Well, there were two voices. A man and a woman. That's all. Hmm. What kind of car was it? A dark red Lincoln Continental. Okay. Did you see the license plate? Only the first three letters, I'm afraid. Three C eight. Hmm. Tell me more about the argument you heard. Well, there were two voices. A man and a woman. That's all. Hmm. That's a nice story, Miss Perry. But it's not what really happened. You think I'm making this up? If you don't ask, you never find out. Hmm. Uh-huh. Hmm. Go on. Then a third person. Another man got involved. Okay. Oh. Thank you, Miss Perry. Your information has been very helpful. We can go now. You really think so? 
I hope you find that driver and put him away. You certainly got away with the dames, Phelps. <laughs> Give it a rest, Bukowski. Let's see what the patrons have to say. Mm hmm? Courtney, come in. What's this? Have a seat. Thanks, Doctor. How are you finding working at the clinic? It's, um, fine. Are you sure? Can I be honest with you, Doctor? I would hope so, Courtney. I was hoping that the therapy would be more beneficial. Treatment can, unfortunately, be very long-term. So many of the patients here are addicts, Doctor. Many of them have been for years, Courtney. In the past, these people were condemned in sanatoriums. We can reveal the root of the problem. Then we have a chance to help them. And until then, they stay sedated? Do I detect a hint of reproach, Courtney? I was expecting more, Doctor. I'm sorry. I don't mean to criticize. Part of being a physician, Courtney, is learning to be patient. How is it possible to keep so many of them on their medications, Doctor? Many of their addictions are illegal. Oh, many things in life are gray, Courtney. What may on the surface appear to be illegal is actually a benefit to society at large. I'm Detective <laughs> Phelps of the LAPD. How can I help, Detective? Your name would be a good start. Dudley Lynch. Hired help. I run the place when the owner ain't around. Where is the owner? He stepped out. Somebody had to take Lorna, Mrs. Patterson, home. Okay, so... What can you know. tell me about the accident? Not a lot. It was busy in here, and all I heard was the impact. Okay. So you didn't see what happened? By the time I got out there, it was all over. Ow! Do you know the victim? Yeah. Lester Patterson. He's a regular here, or he was. Not one of your favorite customers? Lester was special, but not my kind of special. Was Lester drinking alone? No. He came here with his wife. She didn't seem too interested in the booze, though. And, uh, what can you tell about the arguments? A witness overheard an argument. Lester and Lorna. There's nothing like airing your dirty laundry in public, is there? Hmm. Hmm. What was it about? Who knows? The slightest thing could set those two off. Oh. Stalling just makes us more inquisitive, Lynch. We'll get to the bottom of this, with or without you. That guy has I'm really not good problem. at the questioning. You get anything out of the regulars? They weren't giving too much away. I promise I won't focus more on a few rounds every other day. using evidence, but I don't know what to... Hmm. Advice? You could use the phone in the back of the bar. Call in what we have on the suspect vehicle. Okay. So that's what I'm supposed to do now. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How could I help, Detective? I need to run a partial license plate, three Charles eight. Cross-check possible Lincoln owners. Suspect vehicle is a red Lincoln Continental. Just a moment, detective. Only one possible make on that license. Mm -hmm. Registered to a William Shelton, 738 mm -hmm. West Temple Street. Okay. Thank you. Hello, 
you seem off in a hurry. Oh! That son of a bitch right there. William Shelton? Yes. It doesn't look good, Shelton. You packing your bags and making a run for it? You know why we're here. Yes. The accident. We've got witnesses accident. who can put this sure, car at the sure. scene. Not to mention the physical damage. This is open and shut, Shelton. Whoa! Another car chase, huh? That coward thinks he can run from everything. Hey. Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. Someone driving like this. Sorry. Sorry. Don't let that asshole get away. Mm -hmm. Lay into his wheel arches. Come on. Come on, I'll get you yet. Mm -hmm. I've got you. Whoa. Okay, now I'll smile for you. What? Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh no, he's getting away. Whoop. Sorry, sorry. Enough on foot. Hold it right there. No. Lay into his wheel arches. Come on. No wonder he killed someone driving like this. Don't let that asshole get away. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Where'd he go? That's it. Cuff men were done. Hands behind your head. That was a vehicular manslaughter rap sound, Shelton. I hit him. I admit it. I just panicked, but it wasn't my fault. What do you mean? The guy jumped right out in front of me. He came out of nowhere. There's nothing I could do about it. Why didn't you Very stop? suspicious. I've had accidents before. That's it. We're done here. The DA is gonna love you. They weren't all my fault. I'm a surveyor. I need my license for my job. There were people around. A woman and a man were standing right next to him. I thought they could get him to a hospital. I'm telling you, it's not my fault. The guy is dead, Shelton. You can't be serious. William Shelton, you're coming downtown. We need to talk about a manslaughter charge. Leave the coroner and the paperwork. Procedure can wait. We should probably go speak to the wife and let her know what's happening. Okay. You become all Wait. part of the prospect of paperwork, don't you? I can make my partner drive? That makes things a hell of a lot easier. What? 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 Yes? Hello? This is Patterson. Is this about my husband? We're investigating the incident, ma'am. I see. Come in, won't you? You seem awfully cheery. We wanted to give you the facts about the accident, ma'am. I appreciate that, but I think I know most of them already, Detective. He was hit by a car, now he's dead. What more is there to tell? Pardon me, but you don't appear to be too upset about it. Hmm. Lester and I met on a furlough in 44. We got married that weekend. People don't understand it now, but that happened a lot back then. I see. So you probably did well to stick together this long. 
What's that supposed to mean, mister? I think it's about time you left. I have someone here, and Beg I... Beg your pardon? You're going to have to run that one by us again, sister. It's okay, Lorna. I'm Leroy Sabo. Well, well. Nice to see you're comforting the grieving widow, Mr. Sabo. <laughs> All right, wise guy. Do you have any intelligent questions you would like me to answer? You can confirm Mrs. Patterson's story. Lester lost at cards. He was kind of hard to control when he lost his temper. He turned without looking and walked right out in front of the car. It wasn't good. What's your relationship with Mrs. Patterson, Mr. Sabo? We're friends. Good friends. You expect me to mm. believe that? Look, I was Being filing for divorce. Mental cruelty. Lester could be a mean son of a bitch. And Lester I'm about that? No. So license. I hadn't told the truth. Well, hasn't this worked out well for the two of you? I feel almost bad for busting in on this little rendezvous. Oh, no, it's not You were arguing in the bar and on the sidewalk? We were always arguing. So what? Hmm. Hmm. How did the car come to hit Lester? He walked straight into the path of an oncoming car. Hmm. You're lying, Lorna. You pushed him in front of the car. If you think you can prove that, I suggest you arrest me now. I would have loved to push him under a car many a time, but not this time. Damn. I have evidence to piece together a story, but... You were arguing in the bar and on the sidewalk? We were always arguing. So what? Admit it. You were baiting him, pushing his buttons. We can easily get the full story from the regulars in the bar. All right. Mm -hmm. Lester yeah. was playing cards out back. He lost Got the it. horse and wanted back in. He suggested I earn the money on my back to get a mistake. That was the proposition he was putting to his so-called buddies. So maybe I was a little angrier than usual. Let's just say I took exception to his idea. We're leaving, Lorna. But this doesn't add up. We'll be keeping an eye on you. Come on, Phelps. Let's make ourselves scarce. Ain't nowhere. I'm out of here, Lorna. I got a business to run. You think Mal is done with the autopsy? Better call it in and check, Phelps. Between the driver and the widow, I say we start dealing with the facts. Wait. Ah. Hold up. Mm. Phelps badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? Any messages? Just one, Detective, from the coroner. Message reads, Phelps, see me at Central Morgue immediately. Results of the Patterson autopsy. All right. Thanks. <laughs> we can put the driver in front of a judge in less than a week. You'd be making a big mistake. Mm -hmm. Run that by me again? The victim was dead before the car hit him. Two puncture wounds to the right side of the thorax. Second puncture reached his heart. You're kidding. Uh -huh. me. Been doing this job 23 years, son. Okay. No one's ever laughed at one of my jokes. He was stabbed to death. Long, sharp knife. Length of a bayonet. That's so interesting. So the hit and run was a cover-up. I'd say he was stabbed twice at very close quarters. Both wounds thrusting upwards and then pushed in front of the car. <laughs> Easy, Tiger. Yeah. Clever, really. I almost missed it. The trajectory of the wounds was all wrong if he was impaled by the hood ornament. Aha! Find the knife, detectives. Yes, sir. Huh? Lester could be a heel, We just wanted to check the crime scene over one that's more time. That's a lousy way for anyone to go out. If that's all right. Can you be quick about it? Cops are bad for business. Really? We'll tiptoe, Sabo. You won't even notice us. So this is 
why everybody comes to Ray's. Hmm. Mm. Not in there? Was it inside or outside? Aha! Aha! I'm sure Carruthers will confirm this as the murder weapon. Let's talk to Leroy. See him explain his way out of this. Got you now. Leroy Sabo, you're under arrest for the murder of Lester Patterson. Not gonna happen, fellas. Oh! Go! I'll bring the car around and hit him off. It's too late, Sabo. Mm -hmm. I'll get you. Sabo, stop or I will shoot. I can aim at him. Whoop. Ah. Yep. I'm on it. You look spooked, Phelps. I thought you'd been under fire before. It never gets any easier, Bukowski. Have patrol pick up Mrs. Patterson. So, I give you a hit and run. You bring me back fraud, conspiracy, and first degree murder. Mm -hmm. This is how a good detective operates, Phelps. All right. You take nothing <laughs> at face value. <laughs> Keep digging and asking questions until you get to the truth. Yeah. You got some sharp elbows on you, detective. I love yeah, that sounds a lot more positive. Keep up the good work. Hmm. There are a lot of vehicle damage and a fair amount of sea damage. Whoops. Some brief evidence to my. Lorna as well as Larry. 